Oh, happy day. Facebook just announced that you can now share your desktop during a live stream without using a third-party service. In this video today, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. The first thing you need to do is navigate to your Facebook page, and then you wanna click Start a Live Video. You will want to be using Chrome as your browser. So far, it doesn't seem to be working on other ones. And then it's going to bring up the screen that's going to ask you to grant permission to Facebook to allow permission for the camera and the microphone. So click allow. And then once you grant permission, it's going to bring you to the screen where you get to choose your webcam if you want to share your screen and the default microphone. So right now we have a Yeti installed so we could select to use the Yeti microphone. And right now it has my HD Pro webcam selected, but I could use the built-in FaceTime camera if I wanted to. We actually have tape over that for protection. <laughs> So we'll switch back to this one. Now this video is about sharing your screen and using this brand new feature. Once you've given permission to your browser for your camera and your microphone, then what you wanna do is you need to install a little tiny add-on into your browser to allow for Facebook to capture your desktop. Again, you want to make sure that you are on Chrome. Um, the other browsers are not active for this yet. When I click on share screen, you're going to see exactly what's going to happen. So we click share screen and then it pops up and says add Facebook screen sharing to your browser. So you actually have to add this extension in order for it to work. So we're gonna click add extension and then it's going to ask us, do we want to share the entire screen? Do we want to share the Chrome tab that we're using right now or the application window? If you were using a presentation software and you had that up, or if you were doing a demonstration where you only wanted to focus on that one program, that's where you might use the application window. For most part, you probably are going to do the entire screen. This is what I would use when I broadcasted on YouTube Live for my webinars. It broadcasts the entire screen. So when you're in presentation mode, then it will show the entire presentation, not slide view where you see the slides over to the side. This will actually take over your screen and show the entire presentation. And that's what you want usually when you are screen sharing a webinar. So right now, for for the tutorial sake, we are going to do the entire screen and then we're going to click share. And you can see now it like windows in. But what I can do is I can pull up a new browser, go to my website, and you can see that this is what is being seen on the screen. Once you have that ready to go, whatever you wanted to show on your screen, set and ready, then it's time to go live. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna say testing out new desktop live feature. And so what happens is because I'm sharing my desktop, I cannot share my camera. So it's a one or the other right now. That is a little bit of a negative because I like to go back and forth between the two. So you would still need a third party software in order to do that. But if you're wanting to host a webinar or slideshow or teach a tutorial like I'm doing right now, you can use this feature and it's going to be really effective and not cost you anything extra to be able just to go live no matter where you are, what computer you are using. So we're gonna test out the live just so that you can see it. We're gonna go live. And we are now live in, live on Facebook on my desktop showing you this tutorial. The negative that I am seeing with it at the moment is that it's an either you do live video with your face or live video with your desktop. I don't see the ability to switch in between 
both of them right now, and I do see that as a negative because most of the third-party software that you can go live with allows for you to bounce back and forth between screen sharing and having your camera and being live. So that's definitely a negative for me, I will say, but it's really cool that you can now use whatever microphone you want, you can use whatever camera you want, and you can broadcast your desktop live right in Facebook without any third-party software. I, I will say that YouTube, even going live with YouTube, you can switch back and forth between live video and your, sharing your desktop. Um, but hopefully Facebook will figure this out and we'll add that feature as well. But for the time being, you can now share your desktop with live streaming without using a third-party software. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial today on how to go live straight from your desktop. This has been Allie Rittenhouse.